Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCGB desk, we come with new video. This video is all about a VMS, a very important VMS from a very from very big giant of CCGB industry. Today we are going to discuss Swan security on computer. So in this video, I would like to explain first that what is Swan security for software. And second is information function and feature and the third one start our practical part this means how you download this software and how install them and how you configure them to make camera live so keep watching please like share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are new one so the first thing is that what is Swan security software this CMS software provide as well enable to use the user to access the surveillance camera along with the different function as well. It, it allows us to operate and control the devices through a PC or a smartphone. The application is available or are free to download on Windows, Mac, Android, iOS operating system. If, you are, if we are talking about its feature, then definitely you get up to 128 channel view on a single screen manually capture a snapshot and a record live video it allows to control your ptz means pan tilt and zoom controls it allows you to access surveillance cameras from a remote locations you can add many devices as you can search record it means you can remotely search record of your nvr or dvr or ip camera it can detect motion detect motion detection is provided for the motion alert so, and if you are talking about the system requirement, and the system requirement for Windows is that you have a minimum Windows 7 or 8 or 10 or 11 what and the RAM you need is 3 GB and hard disk is 17 MB to 300 MB. So this is all about our tutorial part or practical part or what informational part and now we start like how you download and how you configure how you install so for this open google chrome browser and just write swan security on computer and press enter when you press enter you find us official swan website and a website this also ccb desk so open this website and scroll down a little you find the download for mac and windows in my case i have a windows operating system so i just download this software click on this download button it will wait for for us 10 seconds and it will redirect you to a, to a download page and here you find the finally click to download home safe for pc and once you close this, start downloading. Now it is downloaded because my internet is so fast. Just right click on this. Just click on this three dot button and go to download page. Here is my download page. and just click in show in folder here is your downloaded file just right click on the downloaded file and click extract when you click extract you find the folder with same file name as you downloaded just click just open that folder and here is your application file or installer file or exe file just right click on this exe file and click as run as administrator and after that click on yes now click on next again you should click on next and if you want a uh, start menu folder then click otherwise leave and click press next in my case if you want a desk desktop i can create a desktop i can tick click long button you should tick but in, but i only want a desktop icon so i tick only a create a desktop icon just click on next 
again click on installed and now my software is installed just click on finish when you click on finish here you find a interface of the software so the first thing you should do regarding the configuration part you should find a option add device so here is my option of add a device yes i click on this and here it asks for me to you to enter the details okay here you find a scan, scan device in line option this option is is for if your laptop or you for your pc is connected to the same network means if you nvr dvr or whatever device you are adding and your lab pc is connected to same network then you, if you click on this it will automatically fill that drone in this serial number device name ip address port number so and so and uid so this is for if you are connected to same network and if you are connected to other networks so you should fill this informations so here in my case i use just any you, you can write any name according to your choice means what that you able to remember after that here you should try enter media port media port option is available in network setting of the nvr and here you find the ip address domain name and uid basically if you connect locally then you should select a ip address and if you have a static ip then also you should select this ip address address otherwise if you want to add a remote location ip device then you should select domain name or uid whatever you enable in my case i use this ip address here i should enter my ip address and here i use my username please note that this is the username of the nvr dvr or ip device whatever you are adding again the password password is also a uh, password of the ip devices means nvr dvr or ip camera whatever you have whatever you are adding after that just click on okay when you click on okay after a time it will start showing your camera thanks for watching please like share and subscribe Thank you have a nice day